If I told you it was week nine, and the Bears were just one game back of a wild card spot. You take that right? Good, because that's exactly where we stand. I'm Marshall Harris, and this is three things to watch when the Bears host the Dolphins on CBS 2. I don't know how many weeks in a row I've had Justin Fields as the first thing to watch, but we are going back to the well. Why, you ask? Because we need to see if he can keep it up. And what dynamic newly acquired Chase Claypool adds to the offense? Ryan Pohl said it best. Fields is trending in the right direction. The Bears just need to make sure he keeps climbing. The number two thing to watch? Tyreek Hill. Be careful, though, because the one they call Cheetah can be a bit of a blur. He's averaging a league-leading 120 yards receiving a game on a league-high 69 catches. Here's the rub. He's been targeted on average 11 times a game. Understand this. All it takes is one for it to go to the house when you're talking about Hill. Jalen Johnson and company will have their hands full. The third and final thing to watch will be the Bears defense and how it bounces back after giving up a season high 49 points a week ago. They've said goodbye to Robert Quinn and Roquan Smith, and now they say hello to the number three passing offense in the league. But the Dolphins do turn it over, so opportunities will be there for the Bears. I know fans can't wait to see who steps up and fills in the void left by the Bears' two biggest playmakers from a year ago. That's three things to watch when the Bears play the Dolphins on Sunday. And of course, that's a game you can watch on CBS 2. Kickoff set for high noon. And don't forget, Sports Extra comes your way during the 10 p.m. news Sunday night.